Welcome to Movie Time, and today we're excited to present the top 10 new series and TV shows of 2024. This list features both entirely new series and the return of some shows with fresh seasons in January. Please note that the availability of certain shows may vary depending on your location. If you enjoyed this list of the top 10 series, don't hesitate to share it with friends who have a similar passion for high-quality shows. Stay tuned until the end of the video, and don't forget to share your favorite series with us in the comments section. Number 10. The Brother's Son It is an action black comedy series created by Brad Falchuk and Byron Wu. The series made its debut on Netflix on January 4th. The story revolves around the Sun family, particularly focusing on the life of Charles Sun. The life of the ordinary Californian Bruce Sun takes a drastic turn when his elder brother Charles Sun arrives in Los Angeles, California from Taipei, Taiwan. With no memory of his past in Taipei, Bruce soon discovers the true nature of his family's background as renowned gangsters in Taipei, led by their late crime boss father. Following the father's assassination, Charles relocates to Los Angeles to ensure the safety of the family. Additionally, Bruce learns that his mother accompanied them to California in an attempt to create a new life away from her estranged family. However, her efforts prove futile as Bruce now must acclimate to the criminal lifestyle of his family. Number 9. Echo It is an action-adventure crime miniseries created by Marion Dare, based on the Marvel Comics character of the same name. The show is scheduled to be released in its entirety simultaneously on Disney Plus and Hulu on January 9th and will consist of five episodes. The story follows Maya Lopez, played by Alakwa Cox, as she returns to her hometown in Oklahoma after the events of Hawkeye. Maya, also known as Echo, is a deaf Native American with a complex past, having been part of a criminal gang in New York City. The series delves into Maya's past through numerous flashbacks, providing insights into her childhood, including a pivotal fight scene that seemingly marks her transformation into what can be perceived as a villain. Echo takes viewers on Maya's journey to come to terms with her history, rediscover her Native American heritage, and navigate the intricate dynamics of family and community. Number 8. Belgravia. The next chapter. We all have secrets. I've realized that now. It is a drama series created by Helen Edmondson. The series serves as a sequel to Julian Fellow's limited series Belgravia 2020 and is based on the novel of the same name. The show is scheduled to debut on MGM Plus on January 14th. The next chapter picks up in 1871, three decades after the events depicted in the limited series. The storyline revolves around the love story of Frederick Trenchard, played by Benjamin Wainwright, who has grown up as the third Lord Trenchard, and his new love interest, Clara Dunn, played by Harriet Slater. Clara is a newcomer to London society. Unaware that his birth was the result of an affair between his mother Susan and the scoundrel John Belasis, a troubled childhood has left Frederick deeply insecure, challenging his courtship and marriage to Clara. Number 7. Criminal Record Go ahead, just tell us. I killed her. It is a crime thriller series created by Paul Rutman. The first two episodes of the eight-part series will air on Apple TV Plus on January 10th, followed by new episodes released weekly on Wednesdays through until February 21st. The plot centers on two skilled detectives who find themselves in a clash regarding an old murder case in London. Detective Sergeant June Lenker, played by Kush Jumbo, is a capable officer at the outset of her career. However, she is compelled to match her intellect against DCI Daniel Hegarty, played by Peter Capaldi, a well-connected individual determined to safeguard his reputation. This case goes beyond a mere unsolved murder. It acts as a Pandora's box, revealing secrets that have the potential to dismantle influential figures and reshape the narrative of the past. As Daniel and June delve deeper into the investigation, they encounter institutional resistance, concealed evidence, and personal challenges that jeopardize the progress of their inquiry. Number 6. Expats I just sometimes want to be alone, where I'm not somebody's wife, not somebody's mother. It is a drama series created by Lulu Wang, based on the 2016 novel The Expatriates. This six-episode limited series is scheduled to premiere on Amazon Prime Video on January 26th. The show follows three women hailing from diverse backgrounds, 
all three make the life-altering decision to relocate from the United States to Hong Kong, where they grapple with challenges intricately tied to their pasts, exerting a profound influence on their futures. Margaret, played by Nicole Kidman and Hillary, both married women, find themselves entangled in intricate domestic lives shadowed by past tragedies. Mercy is a younger woman, fresh out of college, who is seeking a fresh start. The storyline intricately weaves the lives of these three women through the threads of destiny, compelling them to confront issues that pose threats to their relationships and overall well-being. Number 5. Griselda For the last three years, Griselda Blanco has owned Miami, distributing cocaine. It is a crime drama miniseries directed by Andres Baez. Scheduled to debut on Netflix on January 25th, the miniseries unfolds the gripping narrative of Griselda Blanco, a notorious cocaine trafficker. Born in 1943, Blanco swiftly delved into the criminal underworld in Colombia. At the age of 23, she embarked on an illegal immigration journey to New York, where she initiated the establishment of a rapidly expanding cocaine business. By the 1970s, Griselda Blanco had ascended to the summit of the cocaine trade, solidifying her position as a major player. However, as her operation burgeoned, she attracted the attention of law enforcement, placing her squarely in their crosshairs. Remaining an influential figure throughout the 2000s, Griselda Blanco retained her elusive and perilous nature until her eventual demise. Number 4. Monsieur Spade Everyone from the Vatican to the CIA, they want the boy. It is a crime drama thriller series created by Scott Frank and Tom Fontana, drawing inspiration from the iconic American detective character conceived by Dashiell Hammett. Monsieur Spade is billed as a limited series with six episodes. Following its debut on January 14th, subsequent episodes are scheduled to be broadcast every Sunday on AMC, AMC Plus, and Acorn TV until the concluding episode on February 18th. Set against the backdrop of 1963, the storyline revolves around the retired private detective Sam Spade, played by Clive Owen, residing in the serene French community of Boozles. However, tranquility eludes Spade as trouble persists in finding him, disrupting his idyllic retirement. The serenity of Bozouls is shattered when an old adversary resurfaces. While new homicides loom over the picturesque locale and a young boy becomes the target of a manhunt involving the Vatican, French intelligence and the CIA, Spade is compelled to re-enter the world of intrigue and investigation. Number 3. Death and Other Details It is a crime drama mystery series created by Mike Weiss and Heidi Cole McAdams. The show is set to debut with two episodes on January 16th, premiering on Hulu and Disney Plus in Australia and New Zealand. Following the initial episode, subsequent episodes will be released every Tuesday until the culmination of the two-part season on March 5th. The series follows Imogene Scott, played by Violet Bean, a vibrant and restless character who unfortunately finds herself in the wrong place at the wrong time, becoming the prime suspect in a locked room murder mystery. The storyline unfolds amidst the opulence and allure of the global elite, taking place on a lavishly refurbished ocean ship sailing the Mediterranean. Every individual, including the fatigued crew members, is indulged in luxury. To prove her innocence, Imogene must reluctantly join forces with Rufus Coatsworth, played by Mandy Patinkin, renowned as the world's greatest detective, despite her disdain for him. Number 2. True Detective, Night Country It is an anthology crime drama series created by Nick Pizzolatto. The series premiered on HBO in January 2014. Each season of the series is structured as a self-contained narrative, employing new cast ensembles and following various sets of characters and settings. The fourth season is scheduled to premiere on January 14th and will be available to stream on Max. The story is set in Ennis, Alaska, a town that is annually plunged into darkness 24 hours a day for several weeks. The locals refer to this natural phenomenon as the Long Night. At some point during the last sunset before the Long Night, a group of men seemingly disappear from the Salal Arctic Research Station they operate, leaving behind only their shoes as a clue. Detectives Liz Danvers, played by Jodie Foster, and Evangeline Navarro, played by Kaylee Rice, collaborate to unravel the mystery surrounding the disappearance of the men. Number 1. 
Masters of the Air. Let's rack them up and knock them down. It is a war drama miniseries created by John Shaban and John Orloff for Apple TV+. Masters of the Air is currently scheduled to premiere on January 26th, featuring two episodes initially, followed by subsequent episodes every Friday until March 15th. The series is adapted from the book titled Masters of the Air, America's Bomber Boys Who Fought the Air War Against Nazi Germany, written by Donald L. Miller. This war epic chronicles the actions of the 100th Bomb Group of the United States Army Air Forces during World War II, a unit known as the Bloody Hundredth due to the significant losses it suffered in combat missions. The group played a crucial role in bringing the war to Hitler's doorstep by conducting bombing raids on Berlin, Hanover, Leipzig, and Dresden. In the course of these assignments, crew members were anticipated to carry out tasks such as demolishing crucial enemy objectives like rail facilities and oil refineries, all the while being prepared to participate in aerial combat against enemy fighters at altitudes of 25,000 feet. The missions were fraught with danger, leading to numerous instances of heroism. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of this video. If you enjoyed what you watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. Feel free to leave a comment down below, share your thoughts, or suggest topics you'd like to see in upcoming videos.